Hello everyone, welcome to Cultural Talk. Today we are going to talk about five crazy things about weddings in Hassani culture. Number one, number one is gaining weight before the wedding. Uh, in Hassani culture, as we talked uh, or as we talked about in uh, in the previous video, that uh, like the perfect body for women is not the skinny body. It should women should be plumped in order to be perfect or in order to have that beautiful uh, body according to the society according to this society not of course according to what you think or what i think again so uh, every bride before before let's say two months or three months before before her wedding she would go on, on diet not to lose weight but in order to gain weight in order to to have that perfect body for the the wedding number two number two is about wearing black and brown for the bride and never wear uh, white in hassani culture the bride should wear either uh, and when i talk about what i mean the traditional clothes which is the milhfa she, she should either wear brown or black but she would never wear uh, white sometimes she would use a cover of white um, and it's but it should not be uh, her official uh, let's say official uh, uh, dress number three number three is it's it's a kind of weird that as a bride you shouldn't show your face in the party or in the wedding you should always cover your face so so you might go to the has to a hassani wedding and you see everyone half in fun dancing half in food drinking what drinking tea and uh, doing what i mean celebrating and then you see the the groom and then something next to the groom covered that's the bride covered with with black that's the bride i'm sorry to tell you that that's the bride and you don't have the right to see her face okay she would be of course wearing makeup and having her hand and feet painted with henna and doing everything but she shouldn't uncover this only only for her friend like close friends or her family that's the tradition number four number four is about the same bride that she shouldn't talk or smile in the same party which is the wedding so as a bride you should never smile or talk in the in the the party and i think maybe that's why we should cover her face so at, at least when she smiles or when she talks uh, nobody see her why it's a tradition and it has to do with the how people see marriage in in hassani culture uh, let's say how some people see marriage not everybody see this or see marriage from this per uh, perspective as a bride you are or as a woman and as a bride you are supposed to be shy when you are getting married why we don't know why but I think it has to do with how people see uh, marriage. They are seeing marriage as, okay, you are bride, so you have husband, then you are going to do something. So that's why you are supposed to be shy before the wedding, while the wedding, and after, let's say, month after the wedding, because you have a husband. Number five. Number five is fun. It's a ritual called terroir. It's... Uh, let's say trois means hiding before the party when the bride get herself prepared with wearing everything wearing makeup having her hand feet painted with henna and before the the night party for the wedding her friend would kidnap her and of course after she accepted to be kidnapped and then they would call the groom and say okay we kidnapped your bride and you need to do this for us it's a kind of fun blackmail. Sometimes they ask for something expensive. Sometimes they would just challenge him to, to find her. And uh, that ritual was really old. Uh, when the people used to live in desert, it was easy to, it was like easy to find the bride because you have a limited group of tents. So either it will be here, it will be here or here. So you have limit option to, for places to, 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 to look for her in, in these places. While in the city, it becomes really something challenging to do so they would always go to the other blackmail which is pay something bring uh, 
let's say mobile phone musical band what whatever they ask for you should do as you should uh, accept and uh, do that for in order in order as a groom in order to get your wife back and uh, also if you don't do that it would be like you, uh, you don't really love her that much so be careful as a, as a a groom in Hassani culture, you need really to show your love when they, when her friends, uh, I mean the bride, ask to, you to do something for her in this ritual. And sometimes the groom would be like, um, would call, would call her fr his friends and uh, creating a gang and looking for her, and they could find her sometimes. And what helped them is the perfume, the perfume of the bride. Sometimes it's not. The bride never, I wouldn't say never, but they don't re usually wear the normal perfume or the brand, per, the normal brand perfumes. They go to, they go to use uh, traditional perfumes created with wood and essences. And usually it has that special uh, smell that we all know that's the smell of the bride. And something it smells like Chanel number no. five. If you have smell, if you have ever smelled that perfume, so whenever you look, you use your nose also to in order to find your bride. She is here. No, she is not here. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you to learn something new about the culture. See you in another video.